Hello, welcome to another episode of Old Line Watches. With you as always is this guy right here, Jeremy, your old man from the old line state of Maryland. Today is part 5555, the final chapter of our recap of the trip to District Time, the watch show in DC. Uh, today we're going to go through two vastly different ends of a pricing spectrum. We're going to look at Oberlin Watch Company, which is mega affordable, and Towson Watch Company, which is well, they're pretty expensive, but somehow still actually a bargain relative to what you get. But we'll be going through all that very shortly. So let's uh, let's go dive right in. All right, unboxing from the Overland Watch Company. Now, if this looks like it was uh, spray painted, that would be because it was. Another fun little quirk of the company. Let's have a, a looky loo right here at this happy little quartz piece. Oh, do I detect a little sticky? I can feel it. I can feel the sticky. There it is. Ooh. Ignore any yelling you might hear in the background. That's just my stepson yelling at his friends playing video games. Because that's how they do. Those darn kids. So we got a red, white, and blue motif. Which is... Well, we'll go into that when we go into the description of the offerings from the company. Bam. Ooh, another sticky. Overland Watch Company, Japanese Movement, 10 Atmosphere Water Resist, which is pretty good. The coordinates of, I want to say that's Oberlin College, I don't remember, but it's all part of the design and intent of the brand. Yep, yep. Quick release spring bars. I uh, don't know if this is genuine leather because it doesn't even advertise that it is. But, you know, it's actually soft and supple. I mean, I don't know how long it'll last, but while it lasts, it will be really, really comfortable. Which uh, I'm, I'm pretty okay with. A basic unsigned buckle. Again, you're not getting a whole lot for, for what you're getting here. You're not getting a whole lot, but you are getting a lot for the money. Uh, any micro brand selling for under a hundred bucks is pretty unusual in this day and age and props to them for doing that on purpose making an actual affordable watch now it looks like you only get loom in the hands there not that big a deal got to turn it back on kick, kick, kick. Uh, i like that there's not a minute track because then it doesn't matter nearly as much that the second hand is not hitting a ah, signed crown. That's kind of cool. Just an O for Oberlin. I think it's a polished bezel. Screw down case back, brushed sides, nice lugs, 20 mil strap width. This is probably gonna be a pretty good strap monster. And this is also gonna be like my, my Patriot watch being all red, white, and blue. I think I got a red, white, and blue strap to go with it to really confuse people because it's also the flag for France and several other countries as well that use that color scheme. So they won't know who I'm being patriotic for even. Ha ha. Okay, enough of me being weird and talking about random things here. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next segment. The Oberlin Watch Company has kind of an interesting origin. The founder, James made a watch for a friend of his who made the misfortune of buying a watch from Daniel Wellington. And he decided, you know, I got to get my bud a proper watch. So he went and had some made with his school colors, the black, yellow, and red from Oberlin College, and his high school colors of red, white, and blue, and also a, what he called vanilla, just a plain black and white. And, well, to his surprise and happiness, people just started buying them because it's a heck of a deal. You know, under $97, I want to say, is the price for these watches. 
that's just ridiculous. It's it's a great, great deal, and it's a good watch. Um, so, yeah, go check that out. Go buy one of his watches. Well, due to bad luck or just plain idiocy, all of my B-roll for Towson Watch Company is gone. Poof! I don't know if I get deleted. I don't know what happened to it. But regardless, I'm just going to give this as kind of a preamble to the gentleman from Towson Watch Company talking about the watches uh, with a little bit of... Uh, foreground information so to speak they are they're pricey for the average watch collector um most of their pieces seem to be in the 2000 and up range um, but you're getting movement and handmade quality on par with your big swiss brands like omega and even the r word um rolex not the weird slur thing sorry um <clears throat> so yeah, it is definitely worth checking out because what you get for the price is just fantastic. And if you're thinking about it and you're interested, go to Watch Wit, W-I-T-T. Uh, he is a, another reviewer here in Maryland. Uh, check out, he did a review with one of these, a full hands-on, and it is silly. Uh, yeah, so check the, finish watching this, then check that out and stuff. All right. So this is Towson Watch Company right here. We were founded in 1998 by our watchmakers George Thomas and Hartley Bolt, like our friends and watchmakers. All of our pieces are hand assembled and finished in Baltimore, Maryland. We use ETA value uh, based movements which are modified and repurposed in-house to meet our timekeeping and accuracy specifications and quality control. Um, we really consider ourselves to be attainable exclusivity. We sell timepieces that are of heirloom quality, but also manufactured at our two workshops in Towson and in Baltimore, Maryland, which is something that you don't really see in the U.S. too often. Let us do the uh, your, your models and stuff here. So all of our models are, you know, inspired by the DNA of the Potomac region. What that means is that they are a combination of different um, elements of the Potomac region that, you know, inspired our watchmakers' this design process. So we have the Potomacs right here, which are inspired by railroad watches of the yesteryear. Then we have the Pride 2 right here, which is the same dimensions as the bow of the Pride ship in Baltimore, Maryland, in the harbor. Can be made then we have our shop tanks right here. Areas. These are from our Dial. masterpiece oh, collection. So Hand guilloche dials, um, whites, you know, annual calendar gold, chronographs gold, with moon gold, phases, gold, true gold, grand complications. Okay. Um, what they do is, um, what you know, you move really uh, So the mission collection the, uses at Chesapeake Bay. Bay. Yeah. Well, yeah. many people um, up here, you know, yeah. refer to copper colored dials as salmon. We chose to stay yeah. so we with the name that our watchmakers and, uh, came up with when they designed the watch. We show that we're not putting any Due to the fact that, you know, this copper dial was inspired by the copper hue of the sunset on the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, I have fished on the Chop Tank River. Yeah. All too familiar with it. Yeah, I mean it's you know. Then we have our Martin and North Pointer, um, which are inspired by some of the aviation history in the Potomac region. Yeah. It's a uh, a playful pilot's watch, getting innovative with the colors, no doubt. Awesome. And then over here is our mission collection, each limited to 100 with tons of custom options. This was actually the first TWC watch made back in 2000. This is now our second series. And it was originally commissioned by NASA. Um, <laughs> yes, it, if America has a space watch, it is the TWC mission. But in 2000, eight astronauts basically wanted an American chronograph. And they came to us and we made them this chronograph, the first edition of it. And it was tested and used in space for four months. And after that, we released it commercially to the public. All right, so that was the District Time Watch Show. I, I had a fantastic time there. Uh, I did not get to talk to nearly as many people or look at nearly as many watches as I wanted to, but that's the nature of these sort of shows. Um, 
Again, big thanks to Time Bomb and McDowell Time for organizing this entire event. And hopefully, uh, I do believe that Maryland Watchworks will be doing a show up in Hagerstown come summertime. Um, at least historically, that's when they do one. So hopefully we'll be able to come back and do another one soon. But uh, till then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And this has been your old man from the old line state signing off.